Hi guys, Prashant here and uh, today we will be discussing about our second lesson where I'm going to teach you as to why Google Ads are important, right? So importance of Google Ads, you can call it as importance of Google Ads, right? So I'll give you some statistics so that will help you remember as to how important is Google Ads. So let's jump right in. And uh, I'm creating these videos to teach you from the beginning to an expert level. So you don't have to go to any institute to learn this. If you're going to any institute or you're going to a boot camp, remember you go to learn them in real time because unless you execute and work in real time, you will never get them. And, and again, you don't go to institutes to learn these stuff. You go to institutes to learn from where I left you, right? To implement them in real time. Remember this, right? So let's jump right in, right? So Google Ads, again, Google Ads is a way to promote your business on Google, right? You just can't do that. Uh, just like that, just because you have a website, Google does not display your website when people search on Google. Remember for that, you have to do something, right? There are two ways in which you can, uh, you know, display your website on Google. First one, we call it as, you know, organic listings. Second one, we call it paid listings, right? Organic listings are the listings that appear, are the listings that appear below the paid part. And these listings are called as organic listings because people don't have to pay anything to Google if a user clicks on your website. Free listings or we call it natural listings. Paid listings are the listings that advertisers pay. Now who does these paid listings? Are, are people who want to people who want to pay to Google to display their websites when users search for their business. For example, if somebody goes to google.com and types in digital marketing training in Hyderabad or digital marketing training in India, I want my website to be displayed because they are looking for me. They are looking for somebody who can train them. So it would be good if I display my ad or my website to them. So there are two ways in which I can display my ad. One is through organic, second one is paid. And to get your website listed in organic listings, you have an approach and we call it search engine optimization. Search engine optimization. I'm not going to speak more about what is SEO and all. You'll find a lot of material on that. I'm teaching you exclusively about AdWords in this. When we talk about SEO, we'll deal with SEO and all. Search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is not a tactic. It's not a technique. It's not a tactic. It's a process. Remember, you got to stop thinking in tactics. Start thinking in processes. SEO is a process. And I would say SEO is something that allows you to add value to your website. A lot of people say, I will do SEO with the final motive that my website should appear in the first page. If that is your motive, I'm telling you, you do anything you want, you will never get there, right? SEO has to be with an approach, a process that will put your website in that, in that, in that, in that organic listings. But your mindset should be, how do I add more value to my site? Because if you do anything you want, you try and have any technique, any approach, any, any strategy. But remember, ultimately, if your website is not adding value to a user, it will never happen. So remember, when you're doing SEO, your focus should always be on adding value to a user, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about paid listings. And to do paid listing or to, to get your website listed in paid listings, we use a tool of Google called Google Ads. It is an online advertising platform of Google. So you pay to Google to display your website. SEO is a long process. It will take up to six to eight months. If there's no proper laid approach. This is what you do to get your website. You do anything you want or simple. You go take your website to 10 different SEO experts or 100 different SEO experts and ask them, can you give me one proper approach? Nobody can give you. That is why Google says SEO is a forest and people get lost in the forest. Right? So I don't want to wait until six to eight months. What I will do is I'll take this approach where I pay to Google to display my website. I'm happy to pay to Google because if I pay hundred rupees and let's imagine 30 people also click on my ad. I'm not showing my ad to everybody. I'm showing my ad to people who are already looking for me. That means who are looking for digital marketing training in Hyderabad or digital marketing training in India. If 30 people search like that and my ad appeared for 30 times and 30 people click, imagine. Right. I am paying 100 rupees or 200 rupees. Let's imagine 200 rupees is my click amount and I pay 6000 rupees, 200 into 30 clicks, which is 6000 out of those 30. Even if one student turns up, they pay me like 35,000 rupees and which is a decent ROI. Right. That is exactly why I want to be on Google and I want to pay to Google to occupy that premium position. Remember, I would just take you here. If I go type in something called, uh, you know, if I type in washing machine repair in Hyderabad, let's imagine. 
right and who will type in washing machine repair in hyderabad remember only those people who are interested in washing machine repair right if they have a need just for time pass people don't go and search right so people who have this intent or who have a need that they would need washing machine repair they type in like this you see this is the ad 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 right these are called paid listings these are called local listings which is part of seo they are also organic if i click on them they don't pay anything to anybody still they get business and these are called as free listings to get your website listed here in free listings you have to do something called seo this is seo google search search engine optimization search engine optimization is a process it's not a technique but prashant it will take a lot of time so why should i wait for so long rather i would be happy to pay to google to get my website up here on the paid listings which is at the top the premium space but you have to pay to google but when will you pay to google you pay to google only when a user clicks now who is a user i am a user i am searching on google so whoever goes to google.com and searches on google they are called as a user and user sees results paid listings and free listings and if a user happens to click on that ad this advertiser which is lg washing machine repair service center.com they have to pay to google only when a user clicks so here i did not click so they don't pay are you getting me I will get into the depths of it how to create an ad and how to make sure ad appears to right people in my future videos stay connected to my channel subscribe to my channel i'm telling you you'd become a champion when it comes to using adwords i'm going to put all those things free of cost on this youtube channel just stay connected if you want to learn from me in real time in practical that's when inquire and come and learn with me i will teach you from where i left you here i'm not going to teach you all these things it starts where i left you here so you learn everything in practical and real time right so you see this one ads these are ads they they are paying to google and how are they paying to google they are paying to google through a platform called ads so what they have done is they are promoting their website through a platform called google ads i will take you through what google ads uh, are and how they create but remember importance of google ads so especially i want to talk about importance of google ads google says 96% of their revenue 96% of revenue comes from advertising i'm not saying google ads there are so many products of google uh which are in advertising like you know double click ecosystem is there adwords express is there uh you have you know df uh, you know dcm uh you have dbm right so they make lot of revenue as well but 96% of google's revenue ninety-six percent of google revenue comes from right and google says 80% of world's online audience can be reached india it is amazing 97% of indian online audience can be reached through google ads and google ads is not just only google google is very very big very big they have partnered with close to 3 million websites 300 million web pages so you just don't go to google.com to see google ads literally you go to any other website you will find google ads except facebook and some other uh, websites where they have their own advertising systems but remember you just don't see google ads when you go to google you go to any other websites that is why google says 97% of indian online audience can be reached like that's how big google is right okay let's come back these are the ads so ads generally appear in the morning uh, so in, in in the top and in the bottom a maximum of 7 ads are displayed so you you can't expect google to serve 10 ads they only serve a maximum of 7 ads 7 is not mandatory again it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be 0 also right but how does google decide which 7 imagine digital marketing training in hyderabad there are 100 trainers and all of them have their websites all of them have created google ads all of them are ready to pay but google says hey i will display only 7 ads so the question is how does google decide which 7 ads and from those 7 how does google decide who will be first who will be second who will be third so google decides which ad to be served at which position based on ad rank remember ad rank we will talk about this in a separate video what is ad rank remember ad rank is a parameter that decides which ad be served and at which positions they will be served So all these advertisers who want to display the ad, like hundred advertisers are there who want to show for digital marketing training in Hyderabad and India. So all those people come to a place where Google decides, and Google decides based on a parameter called ad rank. So we'll talk about ad rank in my next coming videos. Just stay connected. But right now I want to emphasize on this importance of Google Ads. Right. So Google Ads is a way that will allow you to get connected 
to your customers because they are searching for you. Remember, I am not looking for customer here. They are looking for me. Which one is good? You go and find them or they come look for you. They come look for you is always good because they are interested. And Google gives you an opportunity to get connected to people who are interested in your service at that particular point, at that particular moment. Right? They are already searching. Why will people search if they are not interested? They search only when they are interested, right? Ever you search for time pass, plumbers in Hyderabad? No. You type only when you have a need. Have you ever typed projector repair in Hyderabad? No. Why would you type when you are not in need? So when people search projector repair in Hyderabad, that means they are already interested. They are already having a work. So if I am that projector guy who repairs, I want to be before those people who are already looking for me. And that is what Google does. So it's important to be on Google.com. And it's a good way to start your business. It doesn't really matter. You have a new website, old website, just be there. You might spend money, you might spend 1000 rupees, 2000 rupees, but that customer is more important. That 2000 rupees that you're saving is not important. The 2000 rupees that you spend to get one customer, that is more important. Remember, customer is worth more than 2000 rupees, right? So invest money to get those customers. That's exactly the mindset of an advertiser. You have to invest to get more customers. That's why we say money breeds money. Remember, you have to invest to get. That's why we have the concept of return on investment. And why do people invest? Because they want to get their customers. And the, to get their customers, for sure, is to be before them when they are actually searching, when they are interested. And that is what happens when you search on Google.com. But before I leave you, I want to give you one quick trick. right? So I go to Google.com here again. I come to Google here. I type in this. And I type in, I am feeling lucky. You know what is I am feeling lucky? A lot of people don't even know what is I am feeling lucky. Remember, it is there below the Google search towards right side. So when I click on I am feeling lucky, what will happen? You know, Google will directly take me to the landing page of the first website in the free listings. It will take me to the landing page of the first website in the free listings. Right? Remember this. And Google says 99% of the people who go to Google.com, they don't even know there is something called I am feeling lucky. And those 1% of people who notice I am feeling lucky, they don't know what it really does, right? So I type in same thing I hit here. It went to Urban Clap, right? So I'm just showing you. You see, when I come to this side, the first one is Urban Clap. So that is what where it took me to. It takes me to the first page, first web page in the organic listings. Remember this? It's a nice trick. And it's important when you start learning AdWords, you have to learn these little, little things, right? I'll, I'll join you with the next video. Just stay connected, watch these videos, don't go to any institute to learn this stuff, go to institute to learn this stuff in real time, right? Thank you so much and I will see you soon with another video in my channel. Just stay connected. Thank you.